The National Language Policy is a document which looks at the role of Creole in education, specifically at the primary and the secondary levels, ensuring that students at those levels are competent in reading, writing, and speaking the Creole language, much in the same way they do Standard English. The Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training recently held a National Language Policy Implementation Planning Conference through the Curriculum and Materials Development Unit, CAMDU. The online forum, which brought together professionals from across the Caribbean region, sought to get an idea of best practices and the considerations for putting an implementation plan together to ensure that Quayol gets the recognition it deserves. Curriculum Officer for English Language with Camdu, Angel Caglin, says the deliberations coming out of the recently held conference will help formulate that strategy, including a distinction made between a national language policy and an education language policy. Some other interesting points were the presentation of actual language instruction uh, methodology and approaches being used by our Martinican counterparts both at the primary and the secondary level. One of the major or the, the most outstanding aspects was the, the level of support available to teachers in terms of um, coaches and even inspectors ensuring that the language was being taught as it should. The language curriculum specialist says the plan is to have the completed strategy for implementation of the policy early in the new year, along with the already completed draft policy document. She says the overall aim is to improve student literacy development full circle, affording the Quayle language the same official status as the standard English dialect. Literacy development should always begin with students' first language, the native languages, their home languages, and understanding the, the influence that Quayle has had on students' development of other languages it is important that this language, not just for linguistic purposes, but also for cultural purposes, be preserved and that, that the literacy in this language be developed. Based on research, officials are expecting that students' literacy levels will improve since they will be able to transfer the skills developed in their home language to other languages that they will learn. It also means that we must have teacher professional development and teacher certification and training so that they can bring across or use the, the, the appropriate methodologies and present the language in a way that students will be able to understand all of the content area subjects. Further field, it means the development of resources. It means the development of content that can be used in the classroom. And of course, we can just imagine the impact that this is going to have outside of the classroom as well. Ms. Caglin says it is also expected that a lot of commercial opportunities will be created from the preparation of materials to be used for Quayle instruction within the classroom. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.